Days after leading Tennessee baseball to its first national championship, head coach Tony Vitello, and rightfully so, named by America Baseball, the Coaches Association, National Coach of the Year. Vitello led the uh, volunteers to a single season record 60 wins and also guided the team to a regular season and SEC, uh, and SEC tournament championship as part of what was a really historic season for the Vols. In fact, UT made more history as the first SEC team to reach those 60 wins in a single season first team to 60 I think yeah yeah I just my favorite thing is it's the closest team I've ever been around with all due respect to everybody else and that's just what that's what I want that to me is a championship great to see my dad because it reflected yeah. on how hard it is to play this game and to stick through it and I'm glad I did because if I wouldn't have done it as a player which there are many days I thought about quitting then I never would have got the opportunity as a coach Glad you didn't. He, he has made the most of that opportunity. Under Tony, the Vols made it to the College World Series now in three of the last four years. Guys like pitcher Xander Seacrest, they love him, the players do. And Xander said uh, he poured his heart out following the title clinching win Monday night. Check this out. That man's like a father figure, to be honest. I mean, I was blessed enough to have him recruit me uh, growing up in a single mother household. Uh, and talking to this man mostly every day and every week, he was just like a father figure to me and I couldn't be more happier for this program and the way it's been built. And I, I know I see Danny White back there, so I'm, I'm gonna put it out there. I hope there is a lifetime contract coming soon for Coach Vitello. <laughs> a lot of folks would love to see that. And former players uh, wanna see this uh, program keep rolling. Guys like Drew Beam took to Twitter, reaching out to high school kids. If you want a coach that's gonna help you, Tony's got your back. It's all part of that culture we've been talking about. And everyone.